Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm CNET's Cara Suboy. Today joined by Ian Schur, senior writer at CNET.com. Thanks for joining us, Ian. And My pleasure. Today we're talking about Facebook Messenger and mm -hmm. how Facebook has basically forced its users to migrate over, download this app, and there's been a lot of backlash. People are not pleased. Yeah, a lot of people are not happy about it, primarily because there are a couple of things going on, right? Part of it is that they don't, a lot of people just don't like having to have another app. I've, sure. had, I've seen a lot of people on Facebook complaining about, why do I have to download yet another app from Facebook? Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a lot of questions around the privacy as well, because especially Android users are getting this little pop-up saying it wants access to all sorts of information, right. and they're like, what's going on, right? Right. Okay, so let's, let's unbundle that one. Yeah. First of all, why is Facebook making you download a second app onto your mobile device? Well, this is a trend that's happening throughout the, the technology industry. And the idea is that they can create a better experience by doing this, right? You have a more kind of defined use for the app when you're going into Messenger, you're actively messaging people versus when you're on Facebook and you're kind of searching through the feeds. So that's part of the logic behind it. And I guess some of the positive news has been that the Messenger app is pretty fast once you do actually download it. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it works exactly like Facebook generally, right? Yeah. It's, it's, a pretty, it's pretty reliable. It works yeah. pretty well. I've been using it for months and months and months, and it works. Now, when it comes to the privacy issues, you mm -hmm. said it mainly targets or is specific to the Android users. Well, it's, it's the privacy, the, the part of it is that the privacy things have come up for Android users. So right. it's part of it is a, is a function of how Android works versus the way Apple works. So when you download an app on Apple's iOS, you will, once you try and do something like take a photo and send it to your friends, it'll say, hey, is it okay if this app accesses the camera? Mm -hmm. And you say yes or no. Right. With Android, they ask for all this up front. So suddenly you have this whole list of things that it wants access to. Your address book, your, your camera, and all your, your microphone, recorder, yeah. right? All of these things, and they're like, ah, right? And so the, the idea is it wants the same stuff that the Apple one was, right? If you want to take a photo and send it to your friends, it has to have access to the, to the camera. If it, you want to invite your friends to you, Messenger, it has to have access to your, your contact database. It's just the way it works. And then for those people who just are very resistant toward downloading mm -hmm. this new app or using it, what can they do to get around it? You know, you don't have many options. You know, there's always the option, leave Facebook. That's, that is always the last option that you have. But in the meantime, if, you're, if you still want to use Facebook, you, you would go to the web if you don't want to use these two apps. Or you stop using Messenger, right, altogether, and you just email or text friends. The old-fashioned way. Yeah, old-fashioned by today's standards. <laughs> Thank you so much. Senior writer Ian Schur. I'm Cara Suboy. Thanks for watching this Inside Scoop.